Hello everybody, my name is Zool, and welcome to Zool's Suggested Software. In today's episode, I'm going to suggest to you Ninite. Now, Ninite is a little bit different than a lot of the other software things that I've showed you so far in that you're not really going to be using it very often. In fact, you're probably only going to really use it once and right after you install a computer. Ninite is basically a bundled installer program. Uh, it makes it easy for you to set up a new computer after you've built it. So uh, it, for example, allows you to download web browsers, messaging apps, and a bunch of other common applications all at once. Uh, this is really, really useful when you set up a new PC because you don't have to go around to like 10 or 20 different websites downloading the software. You can have all the software uh, already in a Ninite installer on a USB. Just plug it in and activate it. Uh, so let me show you how it works. Uh, when you go to the page ninite.com, you are presented with this uh, kind of list here. And then basically you just need to select the apps that you would like. So I'll select Chrome, uh, VLC, Spotify, uh, I, I like to have Java installed, PaintNet, GIMP, these are very good things, and XNView. LibreOffice, uh, Avast Antivirus, uh, for example, maybe I want to have um, the Java Developers Kit. Uh, Dropbox, Google Drive, maybe OneDrive, uh, and you can also download things like uh, Steam, uh, in BDA, I'm not quite sure what that one is, and a bunch of different utilities, including Windows Directory Statistics, something that I have covered previously on this series, and Classic Start if you're using Windows 8.1. You can even download your favorite compression utility, mine is 7-zip, and then after that you just click the Get Installer button. It's going to pick a bunch of the different apps, and then it's basically going to go ahead and create a custom installer for you. When you run this installer, it may prompt you, and then after that, just go ahead and hit run, and it'll prepare the setup. Now, it's basically going to go ahead and download every single one of those files that I've asked it to download. Now, obviously, on my computer, I actually have most of these because this is a fully functioning version of Windows, so that'd be a little silly, but you can basically get a Ninite installer to do whatever you want. So, if you have a friend who just has a new PC, you want to get them a bunch of software up and running really easily, I recommend using Ninite. Now there is one major disadvantage of Ninite in that it only dis installs to your primary hard drive. Uh, the people at Ninite give some honestly completely BS, total garbage response for why uh, the things only install to your C drive. You should really be able to select which directory these things install to because uh, a lot of people do the old SSD, HDD thing. Uh, so just a word of warning, if you have a small single hard drive, uh, these will only install to the directory where Windows is installed. Still, it is a nice convenience, especially since SSDs are getting a little bit more affordable, so you could probably throw a bunch of these things on there and then just go download the rest yourself. Uh, it also keeps these things up to date as to the latest version, as you can see here, so you don't really need to worry about that. Anyways, uh, that's been it for suggested software for today. Uh, as always, I have been Zool, I have always been terrible at outros, and I hope that you, my dear, dear friend, have an excellent, fantastic, fabulous day. What am I doing?